Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Unfortunately, I've been really sick um, this past month. Um, so I wasn't able to go personally to markets, but my husband did. And when he went, um, if you don't know, if you're new here, or if I don't, if you don't recall me saying in a previous video, I do share a booth with my husband because I'm still trying to figure out what to make for my small business. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to organize my office because unfortunately I haven't been doing very well at the market and I think it's because I don't have enough product and um, I don't know so uh, what I was thinking about is first what I'm doing is putting all the fall and Halloween fabric in this bin I do plan on getting more because I don't really like my fabric excuse the mask I'm sorry the fabric being on these shelves because I do have animals and it gets pretty dusty and dog hair and cat hair and I don't want it all over my fabric so what I'm trying to do is organize my closet that's next to my office um, as my fabric storage area and any other supplies and so that is what I'm doing now sorry um, my thing went off notification um, but I wanted to share a little bit of what I was thinking. So this is all the Halloween um, dog bandanas that I was trying to figure out a pattern to and I never got around to release any of the Halloween uh, or fall um, dog bandanas. But I was thinking because I really want to go back into crocheting. I started off knitting and then it was, I couldn't really, I didn't really enjoy it. So I tried crochet, which I really like. But this is one of the crochet flowers I did a long time ago. So I was trying to figure out how I can separate my stuff from other sellers. And I was thinking about using snap clips and attaching it to the dog bandana so that it could be interchangeable. Um, if you wanted to change the flower. Um, so this one is made out of cotton and it's just a spiral. But then I also had these um, shabby chic flowers. I'm assuming that's what they're called. But I made these little collars out of double, what's it called? Fold over elastic. And I attached it with a snap clip. And, and then you can just interchange them if you want. So if you wanted to use this flower or if you wanted to put this flower here, you can unsnap it here and put this one here. Um, but I didn't know. Like I said, I got really sick and I'm still trying to get over something. Um, I don't know what it is, but I was thinking of adding this to my business. If you can leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Obviously, I need to make more, but we don't plan on going to any markets for the rest of the year or at the beginning of uh, next year because we don't really sell during that time and unfortunately the market that we normally go to they had a weird or they changed the way you can sign up for the market so we didn't know that so when we tried to sign up which is this is the time of year where we make most of our sales we couldn't do it because it was already booked so there's a lot of things we're going to change for next year and i'll make a separate video and let you know what that is going to be plus i also wanted to add some cat toys to my small business and I've been working on some embroidery stuff for my other channel but um, I just wanted to test this um, stitch out because I've been having a problem uh, with uh, some of my stitch out where it's not aligning so I think I needed to change the needle I know that's a lot of information that you don't need to know <laughs> but um, I switched the needle out and this is what came out and everything seems pretty good so I think it was a needle issue if you follow me on my um, Carolina cactus embroidery channel you'll see that my last two designs were off centered in certain areas and I think it was a needle issue not the design issue so um, in my last market I only sold it was actually a vendor a vendor event craft vendor event at one of the schools and we've realized the past two years that when we've tried to do the school craft vendor vendor events we they don't do very good 
Um, so we're not going to do any indoor events anymore. Um, I can't remember if I said this, but I only sold four dog bandanas, size small, and two scrunchies. And so I'm reevaluating if I'm even going to do any scrunchies anymore. But if I decide to do any, I'm only going to make them out of the double brush fabric, which is um, right here and right here. And as you can see, this is not a very good way of storing my fabric. Plus, I do plan on getting some yarn, um, some organic cotton yarn to make the cat toys, the catnip toys, because I want all the catnip toys to be organic as possible. As like any of the materials I use, like the catnip and the cotton, it's all going to be organic so I can advertise it as organic toys. Um, but it's obviously not going to be verified. But the companies that I do get the cotton yarn and the catnip will be for verified. So I can put that on the tag as uh to better um, to sell them at a little bit of a higher price than just you know your basic catnip toys if that makes any sense but right now I'm trying to organize I am gonna sit down and figure out a business plan because uh, like I said before I've been piggybacking on my husband's uh, booth and so he's changing his business plan as well and I really want to have my own booth with a lot more products and one of the things I do want to add is t-shirts and crew necks and hoodies for pet owners as well. And so I really need to organize my space and figure out uh, how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and continue clearing out this fabric and try to make it more organized. And then I will come back and show you what I've done. Okay, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. So I'm putting everything in these plastic bags. When you order fabric, um, they come in plastic, um, these plastic bags from Joann's. So what I have in here is the satin fabric and then this one as well, I forgot what it's called. And then the sheer fabric satin. Um, I just put it all together. I realized I don't like working with satin. Um, I tried making scrunchies and I hated it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that fabric, but I don't like working with satin. I forgot that I had these up on the top shelf and these were basically hoodies that I had ordered online. I didn't realize the company that I was ordering it from uh, was coming from China, I think. Um, somewhere overseas, but they took forever to get here and then when they got here, I realized that they are way too small. Um, but they're really cute. But none of my pets can fit them because they're extremely, they were a size medium, but I don't understand the measurements. Um, then I should have double checked. But they're extremely, extremely small, uh, even though they're advertised as medium. My small dog and my cat definitely cannot fit in these, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. Probably practice embroidering on them, maybe. Not sure. Um, I have this white minky. When I was doing Lexi's uh, Christmas stocking, realized very quickly I don't like working with Minky. You definitely need to keep the fabric in the plastic bag because you will get fabric fibers everywhere. This is that crushed velvet I've never used. And then these two were for a blanket that I never got around making. So I'm just gonna put it to the side for right now, but I do plan on doing that in the future. And so I'm going to take you to the hall closet. My dogs are whining, especially this one right here, <laughs> Bailey. She makes the funniest noises. So this is the closet that I'm using. Um, so right now there's not really much organization. Here's Minky that I've had forever. Uh, this cow print I just bought when I was thinking I was going to do Christmas stockings. And then I quickly changed my mind. But here's that crushed, um, not crushed, I'm sorry. Uh, double brushed um, cotton fabric that I love working with. So I put everything together so I know how many bins I need. And then this is the fall Halloween container and then these two bins here is what I take to the market. I do eventually plan on getting the wire shelves with the uh, wheels on it. 
so I can put one on the right and then one on the left and then I can roll it out so there'll be like a long ways on the wall here and then here is my acrylic felt that I use to make uh, when I'm testing out embroidery designs as well as for my other channel so that is where we're at right now and so let's continue uh, trying to declutter this shelf over here of fabric I already like the fact that I'm clearing it out because this is really messing with my head it's very un uh, unorganized and I don't even know what I have sometimes so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this and then show you the progress in a few hey guys I'm back I just wanted to show you real quick how I'm sorting out the fabric so I have like flowers here I have um, this is fleece I think there's uh, four fat quarters and then this one. I'm not really sure what I was planning on doing with this one, but it's there. And then I do plan on doing a black and white collection because I'm really considering doing an online store. Not sure if I'm gonna do Etsy or, or maybe have my own shop, but that's still in the works. And then I have anything that has animal print on it here. And then anything that I think would work for Valentine's Day. I don't really have anything for that except for these two cotton ones and then that's that velvet crush fabric that's in there and then in here is anything that is food printed fabric and then I think I'm gonna have to combine some of this stuff uh, while I'm storing it until I can get some bins and then here is the sea or the ocean print uh, this one's kind of my most popular type of print for dog bandanas and then here's John Deere and then license plate and then here are all my solids and I don't even really use these much but I think I'm gonna have to because I have it and it's been sitting here for a while I actually got it when I was making mask and then here is anything that's um, like superhero related which isn't much but I did want to show you I'm coming back this way sorry that I had started to do like personal uh, lettering on the dog bandanas this was my first attempt and so our dog name is Bailey and so I did this with an iron um, which didn't work all that well and then I did this one for her because I was trying to figure out like the sizing and then the placement and I really like this one because it doesn't take away from the print then having it all the way across but you guys let me know which one you like better um, type of dog bandana um, I just think it would look better on the side but I mean it's just personal preference so I just wanted to come on here and let you know that I'm doing okay I'm still doing dog bandanas and still going to the market unfortunately we haven't done very well this uh, at the end of the year um, we're not doing any more markets like I said at the beginning of the video they kind of all got booked up and we're gonna change our strategy as far as doing outdoor versus indoor. And I know there was a local, not really local, it's about 45 minutes away. They started doing vendor market um, this year and we missed out. Um, but from my understanding, it was a huge success. So we do plan on keeping an eye on when they plan on signing up vendors for that event, as well as some other ones in a town over. So, you guys let me know down below in the comment section how you guys are doing at the market if you're having success or if you're like me where you just kind of got fizzled out because bookings things change and you weren't able to get to the market but uh thank you guys for sticking around uh i know this was a short video but i just want to let you guys know that i am feeling better i'm still under the weather but i'm still here chugging along so you guys have a wonderful day god bless and i will see you next time Bye.